Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's video we're gonna do the daily TA and also we're gonna have a look on the Bitcoin dominance and also on some altcoins which could uh, pump very nicely in the next couple of days and weeks if we also gonna see a potential big move up here in Bitcoin and also in the stock market. But let's start right now with the Bitcoin technical analysis because Bitcoin currently is falling back down. So back below our potential new support here of $9,500. So currently we crash down again and we are seeing a little sell off here potentially even down here to the bottom of the wedge that we were in in the last couple of days. So this would be down here at around $8,700. Currently we are dropping, but let's see if this is a valid target here of this drop or are we just gonna see a week to the downside and recover straight back up here above $9,400. This is what we're gonna check right now because currently in the RSI and stochastic we are oversold of course after this big move to the downside when we dropped here below $9,500 First, we had this potential support here. It looked like that the previous resistance was acting as a support here, but currently you can see that we are dropping below. So if we're gonna close this one hour candle below the support here of 9,460 and also below the 200 moving average in the one hour, we could be in here for some more sell-offs towards $8,700. The thing is that currently the stochastic and RSI are very oversold. So we should in theory see another breather here to the upside side coming up pretty soon but of course we still have a lot of room left to the downside so till $8,700. The thing is that currently, although the stock market is plunging, even though the S&P 500 is right here at the bottom of this wedge that we are forming right now, so also here we should see a bounce from this area here of around $3,080. So if the S&P is not falling below $3,080, then I think we could be in here for another bounce to the upside. And then also in the crypto space, so also here in Bitcoin, we're gonna see a similar move. But let's keep an eye also on the S&P 500 mini futures, what they are going to do today because as long as we're staying here in this wedge here and you're trading right at the support area here also we should see a potential bounce here on the bitcoin from this area and not drop further down but currently in the one hour it is looking like that we could fall even below nine thousand dollar this is very possible especially if we are going over to the four hour time frame you can see that currently we are getting rejected from all the moving averages and also here the target would be down here at around eight thousand seven hundred dollar you can see in the four hour that currently we are starting to trade below the 15 the rsi stochastic is also coming down towards oversold condition so also here we have a lot of room left to the downside if we are going to take out these lows that we had here at 9250 and even this one here at 9140 i think it's almost guaranteed that we are going down here to potentially create lower lows so also take out this low over here at 8900 so in theory we could really go down towards 8700 dollar and also if we open up here the bollinger band you can see that the bottom here is at 9220 so this is also where we bounced so far in this region down here the problem is that currently we are having a bearish cross in the MACD in the 4 hour. So also here it looks like that the momentum now is clearly shifted to the downside. And one thing I want to show you guys because uh, yesterday we opened up a trade over here on a BitYard with $100 and 100x leverage. So we had this $10,000 Bitcoin trade we had a long position open but because here you have to put a stop loss we got stopped out with just a $10 loss so everything is okay the trade was closed so we only had this $10 loss the potential for a big gain here towards $9,900 was there but you see what happened the price fell down so after breaking here this falling wedge we immediately came down here back into the wedge that we were in the last couple of days so I'm out of this trade. I took this $10 loss and now we're gonna see 
where we're gonna open up another long position and where we potentially gonna bottom and here on BTR I want to show you that you can open up multiple indicators here more than on trading view so here you can open up as many indicators as you want so if you're using the trading view normal version so not the pro one you are limited in like two or three indicators but if you need more indicators you can use for example the ones on Bybit and also on BTR because on those exchanges you can open up as many indicators as you want of course you don't have full access like in the pro version on trading view on all of the indicators but the important ones you can access for free and on Bybit and BTArt you can use as many indicators as you want on one screen so if you're doing your own research and you need your own indicators and you don't want to open up a trading view pro account then make sure that you have BitYard and Bybit because there you can open up also indicators and you can open up as many as you want. So here on BitYard for example I have the Bollinger Band opened, I have the Momentum, the Money Flow Index and the Volume Oscillator opened up at the same time and also on those you can see that currently we have the Momentum clearly shifted to the downside and also on this sell-off here we had quite a high volume compared to the previous price actions that we had in the last couple of hours so let's go back now to the bitstamp chart and let's open up also the daily time frame because here we are also coming into a very critical point currently we could see here another potential play out of this big rising wedge that we were in here in the last couple of days and weeks and if so the target would be towards here the 200 daily moving average at $8,200 I still think this price level is very likely to come the question is only when and currently we are trading again below the 20 and 50 daily moving average yesterday I told you that most likely after breaking again to the upside here we will come eventually down to test one of these moving averages and today we could see this potential test so if today we're gonna close again below the 20 and 50 daily moving average the momentum could be clearly shifted to the downside also here in the daily time frame and that means for the longer term that we could see in the next couple of days and weeks potentially more sell-offs towards our bearish targets between $8,000 to $6,500 the RSI is right at the 50 stochastic and neutral condition so let's see where we're gonna close today we have another test here of these important moving averages so let's wait and see where we're gonna close today and if we open up the Bollinger Band in the daily time frame also here you can see that if today we're gonna close below $9,440 we are now starting to trade here in the lower part so in theory also we could drop very easily towards $9,150 so I would wait in case that you're not already in a trade for the daily close and then trade based on our daily close that we're gonna have. The MACD is also still shifted to the downside so in theory we could easily go now towards our bearish targets of 9000 and lower. And if we open up the weekly time frame here you can see that we are still very bullish in the weekly we are still trading above the 20 and 50 weekly moving average RSI is above the 50 stochastic is still overbought here so here I'm still waiting for a potential cool off before we're gonna have another big lag to the upside but based on the RSI here we would still have a lot of fuel left here to the upside so even if we drop down here towards this $8,700 target that we could have right now especially if today we're gonna close below 9 1440 I think we could test here this $8,000 very easily and there we're gonna see if the trend is changing here to the bearish side or we're gonna see a big bounce from it and potentially start to trade again towards $10,000 and also potentially break it of course and if we have also a look over here in the Bollinger Band you can see that you are still here in the upper area we are still bouncing here from the first middle line if we drop here below then the target would be down here at around $8,200 where also the 200 daily moving average is lining up and if this is really lost then the next target could be down here at the six thousand dollar area and that might be the last really last opportunity to buy cheap bitcoins for the long 
term. MACD is also still shifted to the upside. So here in the weekly, I'm still very, very bullish. But in the short time frames, it really looks like that we could be here for a potential big sell off potentially to our bearish targets also to maybe liquidate or stop out some longs bring the sentiment negative again and then start the big leg up to the upside potentially to break also this 10,000 resistance that we are still having all right and next up we're gonna have a quick look here on the bitcoin dominance because currently it looks like that we are breaking out to the downside here from this wedge that we were creating here in the bitcoin dominance chart and if this wedge is gonna play out so that means if here the bitcoin dominance is gonna lose and we will fall towards our target here of 62 percent we could see a potential little run here into the altcoins so that means that the bitcoin dominance will lose and the money could potentially go back in tether or back in altcoins and currently some altcoins are really performing great i'm talking about the top coins like ethereum litecoin and also chainlink so chainlink is having a perfect performance currently we had this potential rising wedge here in the lower time frames but also here we broke out to the upside and currently we are testing here the highs of around five so Chainlink is really performing great and I think if we're gonna have a drop this is a coin that you definitely should keep an eye on because I think in the next bull market Chainlink could do some really great performance. So I'm still waiting here for a potential drop to buy also some Chainlink. Currently I think we could top out here at least for the moment but for the next bull run I think Chainlink will perform really great and that's why I'm also keeping an eye here on this altcoin and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel because we do daily ta videos and also you can participate to the bitcoin giveaway that i do with every 500 subscribers and remember that down below here in the video description you find all the links that you need if you want to trade or buy cryptos and you can find the four exchanges that i recommend you most if you want to trade with leverage so over on Bybit, Femex, Bityard and PrimeXPT, you can trade Bitcoin and other assets like gold or oil, for example. So if you're interested in that, then you find all the sign up links down below here in the video description, because with my links, you can get some sign up bonuses. Currently, we have $90 over on Bybit and $72 over on Femex. If you want to open up an account there, you will get this as a sign up bonus. And also on these two exchanges, you can also buy directly cryptos with your credit card. This is a new feature that Femex and Bybit has. So when you go over to the exchange, you can click here on buy crypto and immediately you can buy some Bitcoin or Ethereum using your credit card instant. And currently also they're offering these $50 in coupons bonus if you purchase at least $100 in Bitcoin or Ethereum. This is a new feature that only on Bybit and Femix you have. Very nice, especially if you need to buy instantly some cryptos. And if you plan to trade with high volume, I recommend you Bityard because here you have a very nice promotion program if you're using a lot of volume. So here you can claim a lot of bonuses up to $258 if you trade with high volume volume and only if you trade with tether because on this exchange you can only trade with tether not with cryptos you can trade all the cryptos you want that you find here in the list for example here Chainlink because Chainlink is also having a very nice performance currently and if you think that link is still gonna pump here or gonna have a big correction here to the downside you can trade here easily with a long or with a short just using tether so you don't have to own the coins you can just easily put in tether here and then start to trade immediately all the coins you want here so that's it for now guys thank you again very much for watching and we see us all in the next one bye